Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I'd like to welcome you to the introduction of the Arabic letters. The purpose of this goal is to make the sounds that the Arabic letters make a lot easier for you. So what I'd like you to do is start out with a few helping tools. Number one, if you don't mind grabbing a mirror, a full-faced mirror would be great. It doesn't have to be huge. It could even be FaceTime on your phone. And I want you to look into the mirror when you're making these sounds. Number two, I'd also like you to feel free to rewind these videos and listen to them as often as possible. We made videos so that you could pause, so that you could try to listen to the sound a few times, and so that you could go back and rewind whenever you need it. Number three, if you're really adventurous and you really want to benefit the most out of these next few videos, what I'd like you to do is record yourself saying the letter and then listen back to what you've said. Play it back. Hear if you're making the sound similarly. Now the mirror is going to show you whether your lips are moving when mine aren't. Rewinding it is going to give your ear a little bit of time to hear sounds that maybe you didn't hear previously. And number three, recording yourself is going to give you the opportunity to see that a video can't correct you. So we have nine videos ahead of us. Let's go ahead and get started with lesson number one. There are 29 letters in the Arabic alphabet, and there are just a few sounds that we need to make. Some of them are not going to be similar to English, so I'm not going to be able to use a word for all of them. Now let's take the first letter. It's a straight line, and that straight line looks like a stick, maybe like a tree. So just open your mouth and say, ah, ah. Now this ah shouldn't take much effort at all, I'd like you to try in English, try the word apple, try the word apple, or application, ah, ah. It has a soft, simple sound, and it's not very technical. Try it with me and say the word at, say the word at. Now in Arabic, we're going to take the letter alif, that makes an ah sound, and let's say the word together, abadan, ah, abadan. How about another example? Let's try one together. And that would be anta, anta, a. Let's try it again. Anta. And a last example, maybe it'll help you pronounce things a little clearer, is a ma ra. A ma ra. A ma ra. Excellent. So as you can see, the first letter in Arabic is real simple, easy to make the sound. I want you to be careful not to over-exaggerate and say, oh, oh. See the owing of the mouth and the kind of forcing in the throat? Let's try it again. Ah, anta, abadan, amara, ah. Excellent. The next three letters, they look like a boat. So the first boat has one boy at the bottom. Can you say ba, ba? Let your lips touch and say ba. The sound that this letter makes, the boat with one boy at the bottom, is ba, ba, kind of like a B. But it's not perfect, so let's try it together. Ba bun, ba bun. Let's try the word baraka, baraka. Excellent. Let's try maybe one that's a little easier. Open your mouth and use the alif. A. Ab. Wab. Ab. Wabun. Ab. Wabun. Ab. Wabun. Okay. Not that bad. The second boat, if you look at it, it has two boys in it. Now, I don't want you to tick the sound. I want you to think about the word or the sound. Da, da. Touch your teeth to the behind the top two teeth. Touch your tongue behind the top two teeth and say, da. Make sure the sound doesn't tick. Try saying, da, da. Now let's try one together. An da, an da, an da. Now, if you were saying it wrong, you'd hear something like an ta. So let's try it together. Touch the top teeth. Da. Now I want to try a simpler one, but I'd like you to practice it a few times. 
tum, tum. Puck your lips and say tum, tum. Excellent. Now we had the word anta, tum. And simply put, let's try one. Puck your lips again. Kunta, kunta. Great. Now, thus far, the first three letters' sounds have been pretty simple. The next letter is the third boat. It has three boys in it. But we don't have this sound in the English language. So let's try it together. You're going to bring your tongue out to the edge of the top teeth. Stick your finger out and lick the end of your finger with your tongue. You got it? Okay, I've got it. So it's the tip of my tongue coming up out at the edge of my top teeth. Now I'd just like you to simply blow the air between your tongue and your teeth. Your tongue and your teeth. Try it with me. Simple. Simple. Now we're going to try it together and say th. And I know when you watch the video, you can actually see my tongue come right up to the edge of the teeth, right here. Practice it again. Move your tongue back and forth and say simple. Excellent. Let's try a few examples together. Three in Arabic is thalatha. Thalatha. Excellent. Now let's try something a little bit more ex exciting. Let's put a connect on top of the tha, blow the air, and say athlu. Athlu. Now this is not exactly a word, but I want to practice before we get to an actual example. Now an example that you'll find in the Qur'an is thuluth. Thuluth. Excellent. Let's try it again. Thuluth. And a simpler example would be the word thamina. Thamina. So all you're doing here is blowing the air between your tongue and the edge of the top teeth of the four sounds we've done already. A, B, Ta, and the third one, tha, of the four sounds that we've done, tha is the only one we don't necessarily have in English. Make sure you rewind this cassette, or rewind the tape, and see if you can record yourself, look into a mirror saying them, and inshallah, God willing, you'll find the sounds to be simpler the next time around.